Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I once again welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, let us discuss now about what is time complexity and how we can find out the time complexity of an algorithm. So dear students, the time complexity of an algorithm quantifies the amount of time taken by an algorithm to run as the functional length of the input. So it means the amount of time taken by the algorithm to give the output that is time complexity. Okay. Next point. The valid algorithm takes finite amount of time. So this is very very important. A good and efficient algorithm always will take finite amount of time to give the result. Okay, if some algorithm is taking an infinite amount of time, then we can't say that it is an efficient algorithm. Okay, a good algorithm, an efficient algorithm will execute probably in finite amount of time. Next to point, the time required by the algorithm to solve given problem is time complexity. Okay, as I already mentioned. The next to point, what is the use of time complexity? In my previous video, I have told that it is a step to perform algorithm analysis. Why we are doing algorithm analysis? We want to pick out the best algorithm that will give the result by following two conditions. One is it should have less time complexity and then another one is it should have less space complexity. Okay. Next point. What is the uh, time complexity of an algorithm? It is the time needed for the completion of an algorithm. And the important point, one more thing we need to understand when we are calculating time complexity is to estimate the time complexity, we need to consider the cost of each fundamental instruction and the next point, the number of times the instruction is being executed. Now, sir, theoretically, okay, sir, we understood. Can you give an example, sir? You write one algorithm and then show us how the time complexity is calculated. So I will, yes, of course, I'm going to do that in my next slide. So when you are calculating time complexity of an algorithm, dear students, always remember two things. The cost of each instruction that is there in the algorithm, you need to consider. And the other thing is how many times that instruction be, is being executed. That also you need to consider. Okay. Let me take one example. Okay. So let me erase this first. Okay. Now see here, one example, let us take how we can calculate the time complexity of an algorithm. I am taking the example of algorithm which calculates or which adds two numbers. So I am taking two number, two variables and I am going to add those two variables and I am going to find out what is the time complexity of this algorithm. So let us take one uh, algorithm to add two numbers A and B. So these are, what is the input to this algorithm? The input is two variables a and b two scalar variables two different variables we have taken and what is the output the output we are going to store in the variable c okay and what is the formula for this this is the formula and finally this algorithm ends here now this is the algorithm this is step number one step number two three four five and this is six so including comments also we have written here so in detail, I have written one algorithm now. Now, when we see this algorithm, here we are using one addition operation or one sum operation. That's what I have mentioned. That is A plus B is the sum. Okay, only one time we are doing addition. We are not doing it multiple times. Because of this, the time complexity of this algorithm is T of N is equal to O of 1. Okay, what is time complexity of this algorithm? T of N is equal to big O symbol of one constant. This is constant. This is time complexity of this algorithm. Now, I will ask some questions. Whether any type of loop is available in this algorithm? No. Any type of repetition we are doing in this algorithm? No. It is just a simple algorithm. Whenever you are writing an algorithm which consists of steps that are executed only once, then the time complexity of the, that algorithm will remain like this. Big O of 1. 1 represents the constant. Okay. This is how you need to calculate the time complexity of an algorithm. So, dear students, in my next video, let me discuss with all of you how we can calculate the space complexity of an algorithm. So, with this, let me close my today's session. See you soon, everybody. Take care. Allah Hafiz.